the most common and the obvious question we always get is why can't Cypress be used for mobile automation? So let's dig into it further to find out the answers. Why can't you use Cypress and why doesn't it support and what are the reasons? So the first thing is, can Cypress support native mobile apps? No, on the Cypress website itself. So Cy it, they say Cypress will never be able to run on a mobile app. Basically, the native mobile app, meaning the mobile apps which are installed through App Store or Play Store. So, and the reason is the architecture of Cypress is very different to the way mobile apps are structured. Cypress works from the browser, works from within the browser itself, which means it can control the browser and the way things are loaded. But mobile native apps doesn't let you control that way because of security and sandboxing and a lot of other reasons. Whereas mobile automation, whereas mobile automation tools like AppAM install a server onto the device through which and they control it through the REST protocol called which is called mobile JSON wire protocol. And now so you can still simulate you can still simulate the responsive web behavior of mobile by using cy.viewport as mentioned here. If you are desperate to get things running on Cypress and want to try out the Ionic and Cypress uh, combination for uh, native mobile apps, you can try that here. I've never tried it though. Now let's go to the second question. Can Cypress support mobile web? Cypress can support mobile web only for the responsive behavior by emulating the size of the web, but it can also support some of the mobile web behavior, but it's limited. So the best approach is to try and stick with tools like Appium, which support mobile specifically. Is Cypress similar or same as Selenium or Appium? Cypress is very different to Selenium or Appium, whereas Selenium or Appium both work on a similar protocol called JSON wire protocol. So Appium in specific uses mobile JSON wire protocol. Let, me, let us look at the architecture of Appium briefly. So as you can see, this is a PC or, um, uh, or a Mac OS where you're running your test scripts from and that is a mobile. So once, so if you, if you, if you make a request to the Appium server, which is a Node.js server, which keeps listening for any incoming request, it will, it will forward the request to the Appium server, which is sitting on the device. So that means there is an external application that is installed either on iOS or Android to which will be listening to the Appium request and the request sent to the, to the device will be interpreted and that will invoke the actions on the device, meaning that will, that will be able to interact with the application which is installed on the, by the device. So, so you always have Appium server installing an Appium, um, Appium application or an Appium server and that will interact with an external application or the application under test. And then you get the response, which gets forwarded back to the PC. And then this is where you, you write your test scripts and your test scripts get your test script get executed here and Appium server manages all this. By this time, it should be very clear that Cypress cannot be used for mobile native application testing. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.